Hey guys, how's it going? This is CornSirp97 from Mr. TTM Minecraft Videos, and I'm here to show you how to create a cobblestone generator. Completely automatic, no work needed from you after you do it. See, I'm just, this stuff has been running for a few days now, not well, Minecraft days. And you see, I got lots of cobblestone coming in here, just trucking it all in here. And it's going to this alchemical chest, which is from Equivalent Exchange. What I've got going on here is I've got the Technic Pack, which combines lots of different things, lots of different mods, into basically one downloadable mod that you can... And there's tons of mods that are in here, like there's some Industrial Craft, not Spill Craft, and there's Industrial Craft, and Red Power, and Forestry, and all sorts of different things. And I'm just basically, this is basically just using Red Power, but the Alchemical Chest is the only equivalent exchange item I have in here, that's just to hold the cobblestone, but I also put this gem of eternal density in here, you guys know what that is, and I want to tell you, but I'm going to tell you guys later, whenever I talk about it, so I'm going to get to building this guy so you guys can follow along if you want to build one, because they're pretty neat, you can, they're pretty cheap to build, alright, so what you're going to do is you can take any block, one right there, and then four, not that one, just four like that and then two on these sides and then just cover it up so you got this like this O thing going on alright and then you need to add some edges and then you gotta pick which side's your water and lava side doesn't really matter so this is gonna be my lava side right here and this is gonna be my water side notice for my water side there's two things right here instead of the one for the lava that's because when you're running water into still lava that's how you make cobblestone alright so I'm gonna place my lava down Place some water down, and you notice these two blocks pop up. Ah, oh, crap, I just fell. Anyway, so I'm just going to take these things right here, which are block breakers. Now, these things are pretty easy to make. They're the most expensive thing, I think, in the... that you... what we're going to be using today. You need the iron pickaxe and a piston. It's cobblestone. And so we're just going to place those like that. Now notice there's face right here. We need the face pointing in towards the cobblestone. Because what these things are going to do is they're going to grab the cobblestone and send it through pipes, which I've got right here. But we need, first we need to have this face in the cobblestone. So we're going to take our nifty little screwdriver. And see it's just an iron stick. I'm going to tap it a few times until it looks like that. It's facing in the cobblestone. And there we go. Now we're going to hook us up with some pneumatic piping, just like so, connect them together, and we'll connect them to other things later. Alright, so now we're going to take some more pneumatic tubing, and see I've got this one right here, so I'm just going to connect to this one, just for simplicity. I'm gonna go around and get back up on here because you'll notice nothing's happening. It's because these things are part of the red power mod, and red power needs power. I'm gonna get myself a few more copper blocks. There we go. And I'm just gonna put this nifty little thing called a timer down. And see, it's, it's taken away and it's sending red pul pulse out every two seconds. See, this is adjustable, so it's pretty pretty neat and then just click on the screwdriver so there's one going that way and one going that way so if I were to connect these using my pretty snazzy little red power wiring you'll see that it is now taking the blocks out of the thing and breaking them and the lava and the water coming together and they're destroying the block and they're creating a new block sorry. now how about this timer how do we craft this you might ask and so, this is how you do it. You need stone wafers, which you create by putting stone, regular smooth stone, into the furnace. These stone wires are just stone wafer with redstone top. Stone cathodes are stone wafer with a redstone torch on top. And the stone pointer is basically just a stone wafer with a redstone on top of it, and then a stone block on top of that. And then we got these stone wires. Stone wire is just a I think I already went over those. And then we've got the stone anodes, which are just like that. One mound of redstone. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll just make it noon again. 
And you'll see this thing's working, just chugging along. And missing like a few blocks. It's the first, you know, not too many. And then they start all adding up and they start going and you, they're collecting all of them going to one centralized place you see this tube right here this tube's got tons of them just there's almost not time when there isn't any cobblestone in that tube and so you see it's all, they're all piling in here and whenever there's four rows of cobblestone 64 rows of cop four rows of 64 and this, this little guy right here which is an equivalent exchange thing he will compact it all into one iron ingot. And see, I think it's about to happen here. And just watch. Look at that. See that? One more iron ingot. And then lots of iron ingots equal one gold. Four gold equals one of these. One of these diamonds, which is pretty neat. It's a neat way to turn your cobble into diamond. Alright, you guys, it's been Corn Syrup 97 from Mr. TTM Minecraft videos. Have a great day.